Hello, I, I'm E.T. The uh, Eddie Turd. Actually, no, that's not really true. I am extraterrestrial. And the reason I call myself that is because I'm an abductee. Now, although I'm on Earth at the moment, doing this, uh, I was an abductee up to the moon, where the Anunnaki, uh, they have got a base on the moon, and if you're wondering why you see so many flying saucers these days, there's a lot of flying saucer activity we can see on the net. Well, that's just simply the uh, Anunnaki, they are backwards and forwards all the time, for, of all things, Maccas and uh, fucking pizza and you name takeaway whiskey the aliens the Anunnaki are a bunch of fucking sponges there's no doubt it. they're not bad people I'm not specious at all but they, they they are a bit of a sponges sponging on earth and they've got this big base on the moon they don't tell you no one will tell you about it and they've also got a base on Mars and that's another story right honestly and really, and I'm just sort of been on sort of remand that you they well you go there for three months contracts, and no one fucking believes you've been abducted, so who cares? I don't give a shit. But it's not that bad. And they go up there, and they uh, they have humans as sort of a pets, uh, an anarchy. Uh, the humans now they like humans. They've come. They've got used to being around humans. It's like they call this, and it's rude of them. Mate, it's racist. They call this the planet of the apes. And they think we're quite mad. But they have no sense of humour. This is what's funny about this because you can make jokes about pigs, right? And <laughs> if a pig doesn't get it, it, it might. We don't really know. But you can make jokes about Anunnaki and they just, it goes over their heads. So that's one sort of thing about it. And uh, what they've got, the abducting people. Uh, from all over the world, they're not fussy. Humans are all humans to them, and uh, they take them up there to like to wash up, clean up, do all the sort of surf work, if you like, and they keep the base tidy. And that's all they do. I mean, but it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Somebody uh, sneaked a few uh, dope seeds up there and grew a bit of dope, you know. But uh, the the funny part about it is a big pile on the moon now, there's a huge pile of um, pizza boxes and Kentucky Fried Chicken boxes and fucking McDonald's and the lot, it's on the moon because you know, they can't burn it, there's no oxygen, you see it's funny, they can't burn it and they, you know, big, they won't bring it back anyway, but that's what you see all them flying saucers from, they coming backwards and forwards Backwards and forwards, and they hover around to sort of make themselves invisible in the cloud, and transport people down, go and get us a Macca's or two, and go and get us some whiskey. Oh, and they love the whiskey. I think that's where they came to this part of the galaxy floor because they'd heard aliens have been coming here and they, you know, backwards and forwards, doing this, this, that, and the other. And then one day, um, some people in Scotland they made this whiskey. Well, <laughs> that set them off, you know, that set them off. They've sort of been coming here more often ever since, and it's usually for the whiskey. But this is the thing about this, um, all these abductees, they also have a, a big abductee program going with the American government. The American government is a letting the um, Anunnaki, uh, they're letting them abduct people from America if they're not employed. If you're not employed in America, it will be abducted. Off you go, two miles. It's not that bad. I've heard, look, they're not whipping anyone. They're just building a sort of a super city up there. It's a deal with the American government. Uh, and, uh, in debt. Who is everyone in debt to? This is the thing. Like America owes trillions of dollars and trillions and trillions. China's trillions of dollars now. You know, Germany's in, well, Germany might be okay. Uh, and everywhere else, Japs going, you know, broke. Everyone, Australia, billions in debt, England, billions in debt, Brazil, just about done over. Well, if everyone in the world is in debt, it's obvious it's someone off the planet that's owed all the money. <laughs> this is the thing. The Anunnaki 
Uh, the people who are doing all this abducting, they've got this base on the moon, right? <laughs> yeah, coming down, whipping people up, up you're gone, fuck you're gone. And you're gone up to the moon, you're gone to Mars, and they're working up there. You know, they're just blocks up there just taking the time, working away, doing the way they're doing. Because the Anunnaki, they haven't done any work for such a long time. That's why they've now got skinny arms, your bulbous eyes, little pot bellies. You know, just very unfit. That's the shape of them, they're out of shape. Because they don't do physical work anymore. And they also, you know, they, don't, they like to see people do it. It just sort of gives them sort of some sort of emotional connection to the don't have much in the way of emotion, they have a different way of thing. It's like a like a beehive sort of a mentality in a way amongst them. But you know, they've sort of got used to humans and it's with being around us so long, it's become a sort of genetically altered or evolved, if you like, to sort of get on or deal with us like we deal with dogs and cats. We've got dogs and cats, they've got humans. And that's all it is, we're their pets. And they sort of think, you know, they're mucking around with finances, well they're into money, you know, it's sort of an intergalactic organisation. It's not just there on the moon, they're everywhere. It's just a very, very long way away to the other places. But then it doesn't matter because they resolve. You can't fly faster than light, <laughs> it thinks that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you know, like, you know, just, they just go and off, they're off to intergalactic centre just like that. But what they do also, um, they buy a lot of whiskey, I can tell you now, and they take it right over the giant sort of supermarket, way in the middle of the galaxy, not quite in the middle, got a bit auto there, a bit active. And they got this place there, and it's a big intergalactic supermarket, and they distribute the whiskey from there, off it goes. You know, for some reason, you know, different sorts of types of water all over the universe and not everything's the same but apparently and it just changes the taste of it but anyway but the Ted this is the remarkable part the when they transport it from earth to there by the time it gets there it's totally changed it's got slightly softer it's a fabulous whiskey you have a other god at once once some some got back to the moon and we sort of got a bit jolly there one night on that but that's what that's why and the thing is now this is the funny part, there's a fair bit to this, one was a funny part of this was, um, <laughs> they have got females, they're, you know, they have got females, don't you think the female, the female aliens, they have to breed, right, and they have got a breeding program with Airflix, it doesn't work very well, it doesn't work, they're, they're sending them back to Australia, uh, to and Australia and America and England and to be politicians. That's the alien human half breed, right? They're out there in the world running the place for them. This is the talk and I really <laughs> don't want to talk shit, you know. Talk, well, you don't know what they're saying because they don't quite haven't got quite used to, you know, dealing with being sort of half an alien and half a human. It's a, that's the, that's the politicians for you, you know. You know, when you say, What are you saying? They don't know what they're saying either. That's because that's we kind of not quite adjusted yet into the new sort of being that they are and this it's going to take a long process that is but um with these aliens are what they're doing on mars is sending all those unemployed people up there but also they've got a breeding program as well with martian ladies women well anarchy women if you like you know, call them martians if you want and they <laughs> they tried it on me i mean this was funny this is the funny part they go on, and you get, you know, look, okay, you get, they're not that not, not attractive, but a few weeks, and they also, you know, start to look really cute. You know, who cares? And they're soft anyway, and a bit warm, you know, as warm as us. They've got slightly low temperature, which is odd. They sort of go warm in the hot weather, and they just kind of cool down otherwise, and sort of reptilian in a way, I suppose. But anyway, they're all lucky. It's all right. Uh, <laughs> if your whiskey is a bit of Viagra, and there you go. <laughs> anyway, I did tell them. You see, you're supposed to go and keep doing it till you make a baby with them and get pregnant. I did tell them that. I don't know if said to me. <laughs> I still haven't told them. I still can't work it out. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a few kids and oh, yeah, he's all right. <laughs> That's the funny part about that. But this is the this is the thing, like, see, um, I've been sent back down for a while to, uh, and I'm putting different countries on eBay. Now I've put Australia on eBay, I have just put Australia on eBay and um, yeah, I've got some, you know, a couple of bids 
Uh, and I got some uh, from a Chinese gentleman who owned all the who owned the casinos in Macau. They put a bid in for Australia, so we'll consider that because they're buying it up anyway. I mean, the Chinese are buying the lot anyway. Save people, but want to make it legit and give everyone a few bob to put in their um, casinos where they'll open up in every city to kickstart the economy, sort of thing. That's what they said anyway. And they're going to put a big bunch of high rises right across all around the coast. Big high rises right around the coast. Uh, well, down the east coast, not in obviously not across the bite but anyway and then uh, we also got a bid on eBay from uh, some uh, gentlemen from Saudi Arabia they said I'd, they'd had enough of over there and they wanted to come over here and and start um, administrating this place properly they said and I said well that might be a you know might be a difficult sell to the people uh, the other one was some uh, Jewish people, uh, nice people by the way, in, uh, from Europe. Uh, they've sort of got some big banking thing over there and they said uh, they'll buy Australia and they'll sort of let you off, we'll let all Australians off for the debt if they buy Australia. And uh, the thing is though, if we don't fucking get this debt thing sorted out, these Anunnaki are going to come and repossess the planet. That's <laughs> that's that's going on here. Yeah, you know, this is a planet repossession game by these Anunnaki interbreeding with the people, making politicians and public servants. What do you think political correctness is all about? You know, they all look like they call flatliners. Political correctness, they all got to think the same, you know, omni omni faced <laughs> one dimensional characters. That's political correct people. <laughs> yeah, that's it. But now you're not. All these flying saucers come in from the moon. Well, you don't know where they're coming, but they actually could, well, could come from anywhere. Actually, they could be from anywhere, but a lot of them are coming from the moon and Mars. <laughs> it only takes some seconds, just minutes. The pizzas aren't cold, I can assure you. Why they pick the pizzas up, and you know, up they go, and probably people are transported up, up to the spaceship, and, and off they go into the moon, and they, you know, get in pizzas. They're lazy bastards, they don't, so they're not. You know, sort of into food as we are, into gourmet food, they just sort of eat it, they don't give a shit, you know, just get it down the mouth, that's it. Anyway, now you know why the aliens are coming to Earth, oh, and they're going to open a TV um, station up soon uh, on the moon, I've heard that, because well, they've got a TV station, they're going to broadcast to Earth, by the way, they, they're going to broadcast to Earth, and their thing is, they've got TV. And their favourite show is Earth. <laughs> they think it's hilarious. That's the funny part about all of this. Yeah, they think we're a fucking joke. <laughs> You're sitting up in the moon laughing at humans. <laughs> they go, oh, I really have to, to drink fucking Scotch whiskey. Smoke a bit of ganja. There we go. Yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> Life is totally different. They're a live of different total of being you know, all together, all there, and <laughs> and that's the only thing they laugh at. You can make jokes with them; they don't get it. But they look at humans all doing the thing, and they're sitting there hysterical. And if they want, to, and they send their kids. They've got kids. They've got children. They send them down on the flying saucers to look at the humans, it's like going to the zoo for the day. That's what you see of that. And so there you go. If you want to know why there are all those flying saucers seeing in the skies and on the YouTube everywhere, it's because they come in here for takeaway and booze and dope, you know, they're dumb and abductee people for three months at a time to other and no one fucking believes us. <laughs> no one believes us abductees. <laughs> you know, so who we'll gives a fuck, eh? No one believes. Anyway, thank you. Uh, for tuning in, I'm E.T. I'll uh, broadcast to you later. Thank you. From the moon. Thank you.